global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. All right, the Governor Hope Uzodima may not be sure to still be the governor of Imo State as uh, a new party has decided to bring up another legal case against him. And this time around, it is targeted at removing him from the office. Don't forget that fairly recently, we have reported cases where Hope Uzodima is speaking against the government of the day. And most people are of the opinion that uh, what we are seeing currently may be um, supported by the governor uh, or by the government of the day, you know. And uh, right now, as I'm talking to you, he's going to face another legal battle. Don't forget that fairly recently, Johannes uh, Ndibo has alleged that Hope Uzodima um, is empowering the Ndibo, uh, sorry, Johannes Ndibo, to bring up a suit of about 52 billion naira against uh, Buhari. And don't also forget that during the period when the APC National Work Executive Council met and announced the dissolution of the National Working Committee, Hope Uzodima, through one of his commissioners, did advise the National Working Committee that they should go to court, despite the fact that he's in the know that the president had warned that there should not be any form of legislation or uh, litigation again in the party so that the party can work together. Most people believe that since he had become the governor, he's grown wins and almost fighting those who had put him there. But guess what? There's a case against him and uh, the fresh legal moves to remove Hobo Zodima of Imo State had commenced before the federal High Court in Abuja Division. In a suit, in a fresh suit, the Reform and Advancement Party, RAP, and its 2019 governorship candidate in Imo State, Mr. Okere Kingdom, has approached the Abuja Division of the Federal High Court for a judicial interpretation on whether the All Progressive Congress actually sponsor Governor Hope Uzodima as its candidate for the state election. The plaintiff are specifically asking the court to order the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to withdraw the certificate of return issued to Governor Uzodima and to issue a fresh one to the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Emeka Ehedioha, as the validly elected governor of the state. The suit is uh, predicted against the backdrop of the judgment of the Supreme Court in Appeal Number SC 1384-2019, which upheld the decision of both the Court of Appeal and the Federal High Court and affirmed Uche Nwosu as the authentic and duly elected nominated 2019 Imo State Governorship candidate of the APC. In an origi originating summon dated and filed on June 25, 2020, Mark FHC stroke ABJ stroke CS stroke 677 2020, the plaintiff formulated the following question to determine whether the first plaintiff, which is Uzodima, lawfully participated and was sponsored by the fourth defendant, APC, to contest the 2019 Imo State Governorship election in accordance with Section 177, Subsection C of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, having regards to the tenor, clear, and on ambiguous legal implications to consequences of the judgment of the Supreme Court of Nigeria in Appeal Number SC 1384-2019, which upheld the decision of both the Court of Appeal and the Federal High Court and affirmed Uche Ngosu as the authentic and duly elected stroke nominated 2019 Imo State Governorship candidate of the All Progressive Congress for Defendant, and which decision also nullify Uche Ngosu and the Foot Defendant participation in the 2019 Imo State Governorship election on the grounds that he, Uche Ngosu, was nominated by both the Foot Defendants and the Action Alliance Fit Defendants for the same governorship election. 
whether all progressive Congress food defendants lawfully participated and sponsored a candidate in the 2019 Imo State Governorship election, having regards to the tenor clear and unambiguous legal implications to consequences of the judgment of the Supreme Court of Nigeria in Appeal Number no. AC 1384, Stroke 2019, which upheld the decision of both the Court of Appeal and the Federal High Court and Afem Uchengosu as the authentic and duly elected Stroke nominated 2019 Imo State Governorship candidate of all progressive Congress food defendant, and which decision also notified Uchengosu and the food defendant's participation in the 2019 Imo State Governorship election on the ground that he, Uchengosu, was nominated by both the food defendant and the Action Alliance food defendant for the same governorship election. Whether Section 177, Subsection C of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended, altered, or suspended to enable and allow the first defendant participate in the 2019 Imo State Governorship election as an independent candidate in view of the decision of the Supreme Court of Nigeria in SC Stroke 1384 Stroke 2019, which upheld Uche Nwosu as a duly elected and nominated 2019 Imo State Governorship candidate of the four defendants. In case the above questions are answered in the affirmative, the plaintiffs are among those praying the court to declare that Uzodimba did not lawfully participate and was not sponsored by the full defendant to contest the 2019 Imo State Governorship election in accordance with Section 177, Subsection C of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as, amend as amended, having regards to the tenor clear and unambiguous legal implications to consequences of the judgment of the Supreme Court of Nigeria in Appeal Number no. SC 1384, Stroke 2019. Which upheld the decision of both the Court of Appeal and the Federal High Court and Afem Uche Nwosu as authentic and duly elected, strong nominated 2019 Imo State Governorship candidate of the All Progressive Congress, and which decision also nullified Uche Nwosu and the full defendant participation in the 2019 Imo State Governorship election on the grounds that the Uche, U, Uche Nwosu was nominated by both the full defendant and Action Alliance full defendants for the same governorship election. A declaration that the all Progressive Congress for Defendant did not lawfully participate and sponsored any candidate in the 2019 Imo State Governorship election, having regards to the tenor clear and unambiguous legal implications through consequences of the judgment of the Supreme Court of Nigeria in Appeal Number no. SC 1384 2019, which upheld the decision of both the Court of Appeal and the Federal High Court and Afem Uche Nwosu as authentic and duly elected stroke nominated 2019 Imo State Governorship candidate of the All Progressive Congress Food Defendant and which decision also nullified Uche Nwosu and the Food Defendant participation in the 2019 Imo State Governorship election on the grounds that Uche Nwosu was nominated by both the Food Defendant and the Action Alliance Food Defendants for the same governorship election. A declaration that Section 177, Subsection C of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended has not been amended, altered, or suspended to enable and allow the first defendant, which is APC, participate in 2019 Imo State Governorship election as an independent in view of the decision of the Supreme Court of Nigeria in SC 1384 2019, which upheld Uche Nwosu as duly elected and nominated 2019 Imo State Governorship candidate of the four defendant, the plaintiff wants an order of perpetual injunction restraining the first defendant from continuous occupying, legally acting and performing the function of the office of the governor of Imo State, second defendant, on the grounds that he was not the governorship candidate of the four defendants and did not participate in the 2019 Imo State governorship election, and order mandating and or compelling the Independent National Electoral Commission seventh defendant to immediately withdraw the certificate of return issued to the first defendant and reissue same to the candidate of the six defendant who lawfully participated and scored the highest number of lawful vote cast in the 2019 Imo State governorship election and who was sponsored by the six defendants in accordance with Section 177, 
of the 1999 constitution wow that was a long read and very legal also but all what this is trying to say is the fact that the court of the supreme court the court of appeal and supreme court had a fame that number one uche Musu was the right candidate who was nominated by apc to represent apc in the governorship election and in the process of time, the same Supreme Court also affirmed that um, since Uche Ngosu was um, nominated by both APC and AA, automatically he was disqualified, which by implication means that APC were not meant, as they were being, uh, uh, this guy was, uh, this thing, nomination was being cancelled, they were not meant to provide another candidate for the election in Imo State, which they had, you know, in turn went back and picked Uzodima to be their nominated candidate in the Imo State governorship election. So these guys are saying that if uh, they were banned, a kind of, by the Supreme Court and Court of Appeal, automatically APC was not meant to present anybody during Imo State governorship election and on the basis of that that they um they should withdraw certificate of return from uh hope uzodima and return it back to the person who was um legally nominated by a by pdp and who also had the highest vote that is what they and guess what the case has started it legally it looks very provable I don't know how they are going to manipulate it through, but guess what? It has started, and uh, I don't know if uh, APC can explain this very well. Guess what? If they cannot explain it, I can assure you that at the end of the day, PDP may get back that seat. It will be unthinkable, and guess what? For me, it will be the greatest uh, achievement of uh, Nigerian judiciary for quite a long time so we're just leaving it there and waiting to see what will unfold in future don't forget that uh, no one is above the law and if this goes well automatically emeka hediuha may actually bounce back as the governor of imo state that's where we're going to leave it go to our comment section just give us your idea what do you think about this particular lawsuit do you think it will pull through in favor of emeka